What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> it's 12th, May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? DreamWorks Pictures invites you to a land of fairy tales where an unlikely hero ah! You definitely need some Tic Tacs or something because your breath stinks! Name spells action. Shrek. Shrek was released on May 18, 2001, and today marking up anniversary. So does it hold up? Episode something numbers. I don't keep track of the numbers. I remember watching this movie as a kid. The only Shrek movies I remember watching as a kid was his first one, and the one where he wishes that he was a big scary ogre again. Those are the only two I remember. Was there even a musical? Either way. But I wanted to do this because I have fond memories of watching this movie. When I watched this movie again, it just brought me back when I was four or five years old. It was just brings back little memories like that. Just fond memories back when you know there's no responsibilities. Life was just much more simple. You're just kid playing around, you know. It's good times, just good little old me time. Film brings back memories like that. So glad I rewatched. Now, is it a good film? Yes, it is. Shrek and how he makes his appearance into like onion. How it has layers. Donkey is hilarious. Fiona is good, and all the other like different characters. I'm amazed at the different amount of fairy tale characters. Even though there's only three main characters, well, I guess four. Got like the gingerbread man, three little pig, the wolf guy. What else? I don't know. There's like other Pinocchio and his long nose when he lies. Like all the fairy tales that you can think of are in the movie. I just noticed that way more. I was like, oh yeah, they like included every. Everything in it. Cinderella, Snow White, like all that stuff. Little ass king. Or he's not even a king, but this guy who wants to be a king who's very, very short. He wants to be a king. In order to do that, he gets this mirror thing. This mirror tells him he needs to get with Queen, a lady. And he has to pick three queens or whatever. Sleeping beauties or whatever. And it turns into like a game of like bachelors. Number one, Cinderella. Don't care about her. Contestant number two, Snow White. And then who cares? Contestant number three is Fiona, who's like in a castle with a dragon. Is she made a fairy tale in this movie? Oh god, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But either way, he chooses three, holds a tournament or something like that. But then changes plans when Shrek shows up is you know what ogre you say my queen he will grant the witch swamp be his own because they release all the fairy tales into Shrek swamp he doesn't like it at all he says Shrek to get his wife Fiona doesn't like him it creates an issue he eventually gets defeated he's just the bad guy for the green bad guy mean king that doesn't get what he wants you know his shortness and whatnot like that's funny but it's like, okay clearly necessary and kind of throwaway point is about Fiona and Shrek and then let's talk about Donkey hilarious character the annoying but fun character to have around who just keeps talking and talking and talking love them right from the start of him flying like a donkey and they're running away, meeting Shrek. Both him and Shrek's dynamic works really well. And Ogre having a donkey friend, you know, like it just works. It's not even that they're both different animals. It's just, you know, they can talk like real people, like normal humans. That's like the whole point. One of the main pop points when they first talk to each other. Wait, I'm an ogre, you don't care about that? He's like, nah. You just seem boy who person who doesn't care about anything. It doesn't matter what you look like. Even Aiden helping save Diona from this dragon and whatnot. He even falls in love with this dragon. He somehow, somewhat a donkey gets a dragon to fall in love with him, Call of Mencer. Teach you something, cause that is one dazzling smile you got there. And do I just take the hint of minty freshness? <laughs> He starts liking it, this dragon, and then they start. I believe they have babies in the later movies, right? They have like a donkey half dragon breed baby in later movies. Again, little stuff like that. I just remember, but I don't remember in full like movie. They even just fall for each other in the end. The dragon even comes back around to help. So that comes back around. Like it's just hilarious, but also yeah, this is you know this, this works. And it's singing, man, beautiful, perfect, right? Who doesn't love a singing? And then Shrek himself. So he's an ogre, lonely and lonely. And throughout this film, it's both a con and a pro. Us, you know, being lonely ain't so bad. He just gets to be alone, scare people. However, again, throughout the film, he truly does not feel that. Way. Like I mentioned earlier, the whole onion reference, this ogre has layers to him. He's not like a big, green, ugly, scary ogre. He has heart. He has, you know, some personality behind him. And he truly, despite showing off, he wants to be alone. He truly wants to be someone that he loves. And so whenever all the fairy tales go out of swamp, he gets angry. He goes to the king. He requests him to save Fiona. And so there's a montage of him and Donkey going throughout different lands and stuff and whatnot. And also the music, it reminds me, again, take me back to like early 2000s stuff. Hey Now and Reputation. Music cues like that, it just takes me back. Good old little old me back in the early mid 2000s. Crypto memory lane but eventually donkey and shrek they get there get to the castle and Fiona, i guess her ideal in her sort of very traditional ways she wants this night kisser he doesn't do that he takes her away reveals himself he does not like the fact that it's an ogre and then both Fiona and shrek both have expectations from each other an ogre big and scary Fiona, this princess but no they both find out throughout they both have a bond with each other they both like each other they both like being around each other and they both can relate and basically fall in love and whatnot and that's like the whole thing when they're traveling back to the castle and eventually they have to like you know say goodbye to each other to one another they really don't want to because they both can a liking to each other. One thing I forget about Fiona is the fact that she actually turns into someone of an ogre or transformed because her true form at night she transformed into this whole beast. He doesn't like the fact that she's beautiful. The whole thing is about beauty and looking perfect. And he's like, you know what? Shrek will love you and not. Shrek like mishears what she says about him and he gets angry. That's a whole thing. He's under the rock because he turns into this big scary beast. Sort of portrays his message that it doesn't matter what you look like as long as you love one another. It's all good essentially. And so they have to part ways to mishearing and communication and then you know Fiona.
you know it's getting ready to marry the king there's a big hate and then they show scenes of both of them being apart but missing each other and then shrek goes back over her she doesn't want the king they get rid of him and then they finally get their kids and they get married with all the fairy tale people that are in there and whatnot and that's the whole point about this movie it's very simple it's something that definitely wouldn't have liked but because i have very fond memories of this movie and this franchise so you know what it's okay with the past or whatever you know and then the movie ends with the whole fairy tale closing the end shrek so yeah clearly i really like this movie again like i said earlier it brings back a lot of fond memories it's just brings back good old little old me not have responsibilities just having a good old time it just reminds me of that and it's a very simple story an ogre who doesn't know that he wants somebody until he meets a girl or meets someone a very prevalent theme looks and beauty how it doesn't matter good message to little kid it's just a fun movie i like most of the music it brings me back to when i was little and yeah that's essentially it so shrek 20 years later still holds up brings me very fond memories so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching Thank you.